Thank you, PIDS, for inviting Inotech to share with you about the as our contribution in preparing the youth for a productive, resilient, and career-ready future. In support of the Career Guidance Program for high school students, Inotech developed the MCDP Toolkit in 2017. It was designed to guide secondary level students in choosing careers that they intend to pursue to become productive members of society. This includes planning for and determining the students' track and strength for senior high school, choosing their curriculum exits, and planning for their future. Inutech, or the Regional Center for Educational Innovation and Technology, is one of the three CIMIO centers hosted by the Philippine government. CIMIO, or the Southeast Asian Ministers of Education Organization, is an umbrella of 11 ministries of education in Southeast Asia. It has 26 specialist institutions spread in 10 countries that focus on research and training programs in education, science, and culture. Since 1970, Inotech provides quality learning services, research and solutions development, knowledge management, and other enabling support services to effectively respond to educational needs in Southeast Asia. Part one of my presentation is about the MCDP journey, which includes the rationale, an overview, the development process, the toolkit features and components, and sample planning activities and tools. The second part will dwell on how Inotech took the MCDP toolkit to greater heights by developing derivative knowledge products for education ministries, such as explainer videos on MCDP and senior high school track and strands, and the adaptation of MCDP in Lao PDR. And MCDP uh, is in a text intervention to support the Philippine K-12 program particularly the institutionalization of senior high school, which broadened the goals of secondary education. Section 17 of Basic Education Act states that the senior high school program aims to properly guide the students towards becoming productive and contributing individuals through informed career choices and to develop the capability of career counselors and advocates to guide and equip the students with necessary life skills and values. Acknowledging that there are not enough licensed guidance counselors in public schools, Inotech assisted DepEd in developing resources for teachers serving as career advocates to guide students in making sound and informed career choices as they register for senior high school. The toolkit provides teachers and career guidance advocates with basic tools and techniques in career coaching. It contains planning activities and assessment tools to help learners gather information about themselves, the labor market, educational institutions, and people around them to make informed choices about possible career pathways also to identify senior high school track and strands, explore various career pathways and study plans to achieve their life goals. The toolkit is primarily used by teachers and learners, but also accessible to school heads and parents. How was the MCDP toolkit developed? In 2016, the Concept was presented to DepEd through the Youth Formation Division of the Bureau of Learning Support Services. After which, consultations on MCDP were held with career guidance counselors from the Academe, from Career Development Association of the Philippines, Philippine Guidance Counseling Association, technical experts from DepEd, TESTA, CHEDOLE, PRC, and Education.ph. 
there's also focus group discussions with teachers, learners, parents, and school head from San Pedro Relocation Center National High School. And the FGD revealed that career guidance task is an additional load for teachers. And they should be equipped before undertaking this crucial task and should find time to conduct the sessions. Teachers need a simple and easy to use resource material on career guidance. Schools should provide required materials for career guidance sessions. And in Philippine setting, family is one of the major deciding factors in choosing a career. Using a career portfolio will help students in making good career decisions. So based on this information, Inotech drafted the MCDP tools and session guides. We top experts to review the toolkit following the principles of developmental guidance and counseling. And lastly, we pilot tested the toolkit. During pilot testing at San Pedro Relocation Center, National High School and Raja, Suleiman Science and Technology High School, a survey with teachers and learners and FGDs with teachers, learners, parents, and school heads were conducted to evaluate the toolkit based on clarity of instruction, appropriateness to career planning, ease of use and reproduction, content organization and structure, and usefulness in choosing a senior high school track and strand. Respondents validated that the toolkit is a valuable tool for students' career decision making. Majority of teachers and students agreed on the effectiveness of and use. Overall recommendation was to use the toolkit as a supplemental resource for career guidance. The toolkit can be described as a simple and concise material. It can be used out of sequence or on demand basis. The teacher can start in any activity that are applicable to the level of abilities of students. It highlights that career planning is an iterative or continuing process, which can be repeated in other planning stage or grade levels. The toolkit is also easy to reproduce. It empowers teachers to develop their own session guides and identify their own strategies in using the toolkit. For example, activities can be delivered either in two or three sessions, four or five, depending on teacher's assessment of students' level of readiness. The toolkit has a summary guide for career advocates, specific instructions for activity called activity guides. There are a set of activities and tools and sample session guides developed by teachers. Component 1 contains the assessment tools that the students can use to achieve the desired outcomes. In this matrix, for each learning outcome, there are recommended tools that career advocates may use. For example, for Objective 1, which aims to demonstrate students' awareness on career planning and pathways, the teacher may use tools number 1, 2, and 10. This matrix guides the teachers in planning and facilitating the CGP activities with their students. The toolkit starts with an introductory activity followed by four main activities. The uh, introduction focuses on visioning, identifying goals that give the students a sense of direction in life. Activity one guides the students to discover and rediscover who they are and to better understand their interests, talents, and values. Activity 2 guides students in identifying possible senior high school tracks and related career options based on their interests, talents, and values. Activity 3 dwells on factors to consider in choosing a career, such as actual skills requirements for a certain career. Students will respond to questions like, do I have skills necessary for my chosen career? What skills do I need to develop or improve on? Can my family afford to send me to school? Or, and can my family afford the course I want to take? 
Activity four is about putting all the pieces of information together and coming up with a career portfolio and prospective career options, beginning with the preferred senior high school job. Other tools include the career wheel, my family and my, my career choices and career pathways portfolio, which have been useful to the teachers, learners, and parents during the tryout. As applied in San Pedro Relocation Center National High School, they use the MCDP toolkit in pure and hybrid approach. Some teachers use the MCDP toolkit in the pure sense, while others integrated the activities and tools lifted from the MCDP toolkit and the DepEd's career guidance manual for grade 10. Tool number five, or career wheel, was used to examine career destinations or career track or strand. Tool number six, uh, about my family and my career choices. This was used for goal setting and grounding with, with the participation of parents or guardians, because culturally speaking, they are important stakeholders in their children's career decision making. Tool number 10 or the career pathways portfolio and tool number 13 or the MCDP map were used to connect the dots between education and career pathways. In here, students will chart or navigate their own course. In exploring career pathways, students will use the career interest clusters and the career wheel. Career clusters are group of jobs that have similar skills, tasks, or characteristics. Students will be asked to choose a career cluster that best describes their inclinations, interests, and abilities by shading the statements listed under each cluster that applies to them. Based on their interests, students will discover the career cluster that applies to them. In this example, the cluster with the greatest number of shaded statements corresponds to cluster B or the sports track. This means that the student has the aptitude for sports. Another option is to choose cluster D or the accountancy, business, and management. The career wheel contains the career pathways for each senior high school track and strand. This will guide students in choosing a senior high school track that leads them to a future career. There are two ways of using the career wheel. One way is to look at the outer circle for a prospective career choice and then trace its corresponding senior high school track and strand. For example, if the student is interested in becoming an engineer, one option is to take the academic track, particularly the STEM strand. Another way is to focus on the, on the track or strand, which is located in the second or third circle, that students are most inclined to and and then they will trace what career options are available after senior high school or college. Right? For example, if a student is inclined to take up arts and design, he or she may work as a draftsman or illustrator after senior high school or create his own business. Upon completing college, he can become an architect or interior designer. This activity called My Family and My Career Choice is used for goal setting and grounding activity. This requires the participation of parents or guardians to determine if their dream career or expectations for their children would match with the personal choice of their children and vice versa. In this activity, a dialogue between the parent and the child is encouraged to discuss what they have discovered share their reflections, arrive at an agreement, and discuss parental support in case a career has been decided upon. The main activity has a corresponding activity guide. Here is a sample activity on connecting the dots between education and career pathways. As an integration, students are expected to develop their own career pathways, portfolio, and career, career study planner. They must put all the pieces of information together by completing assessment tools number 10, 11, 12, 13 to 14, so they can identify career options beginning with the preferred senior high school track. 
In the annex section, sample session guides on career planning are presented. Teachers can use this as reference in modifying or developing new session guides. They could use the MCDP toolkit as a supplementary career guidance resource for grade 10 during the COVID-19 to support the learning continuity plan. In 2019, DEPUT also requested Inotech to develop an, an explainer video to better guide teachers and career advocates in using the toolkit. In 2020, Inotech repackaged the toolkit into a six-part explainer video series featuring the toolkit activities plus an introductory video. The videos were validated in December 2020 by teachers and guidance counselors from San Pedro Relocation Center National High School as an effective complementary material to the existing printed version and depth edge career guidance modules and is useful for career orientation and planning, not only for teachers as career advocates, but also for students. The video was turned over to DepEd on February 2021 and now available on Inotech's YouTube and DepEd's Learning Resource Portal. Inotech also developed an explainer video on senior high school tracks and strands. As DepEd puts it, learning resources in video format have been effective in reaching out to more learners, especially during challenging times when face to face classes is not allowed. The video features the four senior high school tracks, the academic, tech, walk, livelihood, arts and design, and sports track. It supported the cascading of senior high school in programming schools through distance learning. The video provides a clear picture of what each track and strand is about and helps grade, grade 10 students decide which path to take to achieve their career goals. In June 2021, Deped rolled out its pilot version to regional offices and widely disseminated to teachers for immediate use during career orientations. Later, Inotech conducted a user feedback a rapid assessment from July to September 2021. Respondents recommended the video as a medium to inform grade 10 learners and their parents about senior high school tracks and strands and as a supplementary resource to help learners plan for their career tracks, choose their curriculum exits, and plan for their future. In August 2021, uh, the DepEd Memo on Career Guidance Program for school year 2021 to 2022 has included the MCDP Toolkit and Video Senior High School Tracks and Strands as supplementary resource materials for grade 10. Inotech also shared the MCDP resource kit to Love PDR Education Ministry to support the ongoing career guidance modeling in secondary schools, which is being implemented through the Education for Employment Sector Development Program funded by Asian Development Bank or ADB from April 2021 to June 2022. This is how the MCDP resources were adopted by Love PDR. In 2020, Inotech identified which CMU member country may be interested to use the MCDP toolkit. Inotech had authorized the Law Education Ministry to adopt and customize the toolkit to support ADB's career guidance program for 20 districts and 60 schools. The toolkit was translated to Law language for piloting in project schools in eight provinces. Considering the challenges during pandemic, EEESDP conducted a series of adaptation workshops between February to March 2022 through face-to-face -face training with online technical support from Inotech. And through a ministry decree dated uh, April 2022, the Director for General Education in LPDR has approved the toolkit for pilot utilization in eight secondary schools. The ministry may adopt the resources for as long as they acknowledge Inotech as the source of the material that is for non-commercial use and share alike use of the resources. Lastly, in June 2022, a training of trainers was conducted. Inotech supported the career guidance program of DEPET and Law PDR to guide students in choosing careers tracks that they intend to pursue to become productive and contributing members of the society through informed choices. We believe that this sets 
as a strong anchor in preparing the youth for a productive, resilient, and career-ready future. At this time, MCDP users had expanded from deputy career advocates to learners, parents, school heads, and now to low secondary school teachers. And this is through the derivative knowledge products developed through the years in response to the needs of education ministries. This has been the journey of the MCDP toolkit thus far. For more information, you may download and share copies of the toolkit and videos on using the MCDP toolkit and videos on senior high school track and strands at the Unitex website and YouTube channel. These are also available from DepEd's learning resource portal. Thank you. And thank you very much. Uh...